morning, everyone. Uh, here we have uh, Dr. Paulo Frutuoso. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me at this moment to thank you for your kind invitation to speak before you today. It is to me a massive joy and a great honor to be here. I hope to contribute effectively during the presentation of our experience for the certainty that we are all immortal. Thank you very much. Our body are made up of about seven octillion atoms. The distance between the nucleus and the electronic orbit can be compared in proportion to the distance between the Earth, the other planets, and the Sun. So we are made up, made up of empty space. If atomic empty space were eliminated, there would remain only a tiny residual of matter or condensed energy. If our body are made up of empty space, where are our feelings? Love, tenderness, etc., and thoughts located in our neuron or secretion. But they are also made up of space. So science is gradually being forced to admit something beyond matter. It's mandatory to believe in something beyond. I think everyone here knows this cartoonist, Hub Goldberg, a genius. I use, use the genius of Hood Goldberg to explain the audience what is under the suitable complexity. Irreducible complexity. The taxpayer sits on a pneumatic cushion. Says, forcing air through the tube, blowing the balloon into the candle. The balloon explodes and scares the dog, which pulls the leash, dropping the ball on the dead daughter, locking plant which tilts the lever. Then the drug pouring water on the plant causes it to grow and pulls the rope attached to the mechanical hand, which then steals the tax spray wallet. I cannot touch any detail of the drawing because as wise the goal will not be reached. This is a irreducible complexity. But everything that's happening in nature is also the result of irreducible complexity with a thousand and thousand of steps. For example, blood clotting, vision, digestion, antibody production, embryogenesis, breathing, touch, photosynthesis, etc. Behind the picture was Rub Goldberg. What or who is behind the irreducible complexity of nature? Chance? Whenever I talk about the irreducible complexity of nature, a fatal question you always ask me to me. If there is intelligent plan for life, why do we get sick? So we are at a crossword between religion and science. Personally, I perceive only one solution. Someone will have to come back from the death to explain to me what is happening. What if really someone come back from the other side of life with revelation. But how to come back? How to come back? Resurrection. I don't believe it. It's impossible for a doctor to believe in a resurrection like this. He was almost whipped to death. Then, crowned with a crown of long thorn, then nailed to a cross, he still in such field, they pierced his chest with a spear. And finally, they put his lifeless body in a cave in the heat of the desert for three days. And he appeared with his body completely recovered. I don't believe in miracle. 
let's see a plan B, another alternative. And traveling, transport between parallel universes, materialization of spirit, maybe. He are some of the most important finds in story, in history. Let's see a few. Camille Flammarion, the great astronomer in France, until today he's worshipped by French. Cesar Lombroso, the father of forensic medicine. Alfred Hussey Wallace, the formulator of the theory of evolution with Charles Darwin. And the last of the picture, Luis da Rocha Lima, Brazilian industrial chemist, the greatest research of the mediumistic phenomenon I have known in my life. Let's highlight three of these great scientists. Alex Carrel, Nobel Prize winner in medicine for his discovery of anticoagulant substance, drugs. Charles Richer, Nobel Prize winner in medicine for his discovery of an anaphylactic response. And William Crookes, one of the great physicists in history, discovery of cathodes, rays, and the element, and the element thallium. What do these great scientists have in common? They deeply studied and researched the phenomena related to physical effect medium. What is the physical effect medium? Men and women, extremely rare in the history, who quickly enter in a mediumistic trance, found, and this state begins to expel through the natural artifice of the body energetic fluid called by Charlie Hishi, ectoplasm. This is a photograph taken in the study group to which I belong in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. We can see here one of these medium in a deep trance expelling through the mouth and nose the high energy fluid called ectoplasm. How is it possible to breathe with the nose and mouth abstracted by this ectoplasm. He, it looks like she's in form. With this energy, men and women who lived here in the past and transferred to another plane of existence by the natural phenomenon of the death, can teleport and materialize for a few moments in this universe. He is one of the occurrences described by William Crookes. The materialization of Kate King, spirit, through the ectoplasm of the medium Florence Cook. As she was materialized, her image appeared on a photograph. Mandatory condition for the teleportation and materialization of a spirit. A. Absence of artificial and natural light in the environment. Many attendees and medium must wear white clothes made of natural, no synthetic fabric. No meat intake other than fish in 70 hours prior to the meeting. Same behavior he got in smoking, alcohol, and sexual intercourse. Surveillance and control of the soft during the meeting because the ectoplasm, pay attention, is sensitive even to the soft. Other. If we are in complete darkness, how can we see a materialized spirit? When the materialized entity comes out of the mediumistic booth, its body and its garment are luminescent. These beings are bioluminescence. 
here we can see our security spirit, but live through English medium, Ellen Duncan. Male spirit, same medium. Mantle life spirits are usually covered in luminous cloaks, robes. This leads me to believe that the old stories of ghosts covered in white sheets originated in the phenomena of spirit materialization. Jesus and Mount Tabor. I think that all uh, know this image. Moses and Elijah beside Jesus. Attention. Moses had died 1,500 years before. Elijah had died 800 years before. I ask those who are listening and seeing me to me right now. I ask you, could anyone fall asleep before the sin? Another example, angels in bright garments, with all those present as the scene, seeing these angels, the same thing. We have shown that it's possible to see a teleported and materialized spirit in the darkness due to its luminescence and that of this garment. Is it possible that what those women saw at the entrance of the Jesus tomb were meant to live spirit? Maybe. The healing of a man born blind with the saliva of Jesus. I don't believe in miracles. Pay attention to the next image. Mediunic incarnation. What is it? Complete full mastery of the body of the medium by the spirit. During the mediunic incarnation, the medium is serving nothing. And after the phenomenon, remembers nothing too. Here we can see a spiritual physician embodied, incarnated in a physical effect medium. While he takes care of a sick man, in the list of the list, his mouth and nose expel something similar to shave his phone. What if this happened 2,000 years ago? This spiritual doctor teaches that for every physical cell in our body, there is an extra physical cell acting in the template. What if I knew how to recover the seals of the eye of the blind man, materializing extra physical cell with the energy of the ectoplasm? Why is this phenomenon so rare in the history of mankind? Because the amount of energy manipulated is enormous and incredible. The scientists don't believe in it. We do not yet know how to manipulate. We do not yet know how to manipulate ectoplasm, which I remember, I remind you, is present in every living being, plants, animals, men, women. At this moment, I invite all of those who honor me with their attention to four to four reflection. Let's go. First reflection. What if a doctor were present at one of these meetings? A doctor, how me? Second reflection. What if a doctor already that but alive in another dimension? Universe parallel to us, appeared in a materialized form in the same meeting. Third reflection. What is this communication between these two doctors were possible? 
for the inflection. What if this exchange went on for 40 years? Well, this is exactly what happened to me. I can never go back. I can only move forward. Like this teleported and materialized being who has lived on earth, I am immortal. And all of you are too. And so our friends and the loves one too. And our enemies too. There is no death, but full life in the universe parallel to ours. Frederick von Stein, surgeon of the Nazi army, killed during the Second War. This is one of these spiritual doctors I've talked to for 40, 40 years. At one of our meetings in Rio de Janeiro, Frederick von Stein left the booth and was photographed with a wild lily in his hand. We can see it. A uh, wild lily, lily in his hand, in honor of Friar Lee, the leader of the community where he now lives. The underlying face of medicine, or the hidden face of medicine. This book, released in 2014, is based on white on what I learned from my colleagues from the other universe. Let's see some questions and the answer of uh, Frederick Constein uh, about my question. Let's take uh, some questions that like any doctor on earth, any doctor on earth would ask this other doctor and the answer, okay. Why don't patients undergoing hyperphysical surgery feel any pain during the procedure? What are hyperphysical surgery? Surgery that go beyond the physical limits of the human body. Some image of hyperphysical, hyperphysical surgery. I think, uh, pay attention what I will say to you at the moment. I have never seen any metal instrument being used by these medical spirits. They only use the hands and their mental energy. Answer of uh, Frederick von Stein. End of thing and encephaline. Our doctor know how to stimulate the production of endorphins and encephaline by the patient's neurons. These neurotransmitters produced by brain neurons and the pituitary glands are capable of increasing pain tolerance. Some of these neurohormones has a capacity of up to 200 times greater than an opioid found on the market. Other question. Why do I, why do I often see you and other medical entities act upon regions of the body that are far from the place where the disease is? For example, the patient has a brain tumor. Frederick acts on the thorax. The patient has heart disease. Frederick acts on the abdomen. The patient has a gastric tumor. Frederick acts in the head. Why? The patient concerned with the area or organ he believed to be diseased make our work more difficult. We then divert 
the patient's attention to a different area of the body, but, but what we really do is create a tunnel made of ectoplasm leading to the area which is truly sick and performs the necessary procedure. No comments. How can we correlate God's existence with childhood illness? Why does God allow children to suffer? This patient was the reason for my question. This six month old child was born with a highly malignant neck tumor called sarcoma. Let's see the answer of Frederick von Stein. Think of a tumor as vacuum cleaners sucking up impurities from the spirit and everything will make sense. And everything will make sense. But if the child had not yet been born, how did he carry his impurity? Answer, creation. They were imprinted on the spirit because of its bad acts against his fellow human beings and against the nature of the planet in past lives. How do you and other medical entities see the inside of the body of the patient brought here for treatment? Answer, I see the inside of the body as if there were no skin covering them. No. So the spirit can pre is present X-ray vision, depending on how evolved they are. I ask you at this moment, how many diagnoses would a surgeon like me make if I had X-ray vision. I think this is the mediumic, mediumic medicine of the future. The doctor will be, will be great medium. I think so. But how do you distinguish normal cell from sick cell, Frederick? Answer. I do this by observing their vibration. They vibrate differently one from the other. So, a spirit has microscopic vision, depending on how evolved they are. How far does your microscopic vision go, Frederick? Are you able to see cell organelles? Answer, yes, I am. No. This intracellular structure can only be seen under an electron microscope when the image is magnified up to, pay attention, 400,000 times. Uh, are you able to see atoms and subatomic at practical Fredericks? No, I'm not yet. But the spirits who are more evolved than me can do it. Easy to mute. What is the explanation for laughing syndrome, Frederick? Answer the Inquisition. A lady came to Frederick with her daughter with the disease. So I asked him, I was present at the, that moment. Let's see what is uh, the laughing syndrome. Incredible genetic disease. Joseph Lassen, orthopedic surgeon, who described it in 1950. Sequence, one in 
100,000 people. Uh, there is a rare disease, genetic mutation, FNLB gene in chromosome 3, altered protein, filamin B, affect the structures, embryonic joints, pay attention, embryonic joints, resulting anomaly, multiple joint dislocation, men and many other, but the man is the dislocation, joint dislocation, okay. Here are some of the change caused by lasting syndrome. Note that the anomaly mainly affects the joint. It's very clear at this image. Other aspect of lasting syndrome. Okay? Pay attention. The, the injuries are in the joint. I repeat. Let us now look at some of the injuries inflicted by torture instrument in the acquisition. The strapado. The victim was suspended by a rope attached to the wrist, and sometimes weights were added to the ankles. Imagine the pain caused by these instruments. Other instruments are torture of the inquisition. So, Evidence, like in the Lessing syndrome, the main injury caused by the instrument of the torture of the inquisition were in the joint. My friends, the divine law is mathematical. If we cause intentional harm to other, through action, word, or even thought, we will also cause deformity to our spirit that vary in intensity according to the bad acts we commit. So, our spiritual envelope will implant illness in our bodies in future lives. is the physical form. The information brought by these living beings from a universe parallel to ours is that we have an extra physical form where the positive or negative mark of everything we do remain, which will influence the formation of our future body, mathematically. Negative mark and deformity implanted in the extraphysical form will promote the disorder in the DNA of the future organ, causing diseases like cancer and many other genetic origin. Conclusion. We are all immortal. Our evolution in knowledge will not cease. We will never stop learning. Everything we learn in our present life and in past life remain in our spiritual brain. All our good and bad deeds, our, our good and bad deeds are imprinted into our spirit. And the vast majority of human disease originate from the poor behavior in previous lives. No doctor who honor his profession will ever be alone. So, whenever I go into a surgical center, I put this image in my mind. 
My friend, thank you very much for your attention. Stay with the God. Wow, that's that's fabulous. That's amazing. Uh, Dr. Frutuoso, thank, thank you so much for this amazing, amazing presentation. Uh, I'm, I'm fascinated for this subject, but the way that you explain is, a, <coughs> is amazing and the evidences. So, uh, so folks, now we are open for uh, questions to Dr. Futuoso. If you, if, you, if you have any, just type it and um, let us know. I will, um, we have Ruth Matt, she is an interpreter and she will translate uh, the questions or the answers if you do it in Portuguese. And uh, uh, Dr. Futuoso will, will explain. One thing, though, I need to say, we will need to finish this, uh, this session like uh, 10 minutes or oh, um, 14 minutes because we need to get prepared for the next uh, session with Guaraciara. So, uh, Dr. Frutoso, the first uh, question that I have here is uh, uh, from, from Ted. He said, uh, you mentioned meditation without meat. Can you go over this other than fish, perhaps? So I guess the question is, uh, how about meditation without meat? What is the influence? What, what is the impact on, on that? Could you please talk about it? Okay. Um... Oi, pessoal. Aí está perguntando a influência da meditação sem a carne. Se poderia falar um pouquinho mais de como funciona. So, uh, Dr. Frutuoso, eu vou falar um pouco porque eu sou um anarquista um pouco baixo, mas é, basicamente a pergunta é a, a meditação é sem carne. Como é que isso funciona? Você não pode falar um pouco sobre yes, isso? Yes, yes, yes. I will speak in Portuguese slowly and we will be translated in English, ok? Uh, ok. Quando o animal é abatido, ele sofre. When the animal, like when uh, they kill yes, the animal, carne. they suffer. Oh. Yeah, go on. Está me ouvindo? Quando o animal é abatido, boi, vaca, porco, ave, sua carne fica impregnada com fluidos pesados e negativos. Okay. Quando eu ingiro essa carne, eu ingiro comigo esses fluidos negativos que impregnam também o ectoplasma que está em mim. All right. so, uh... Quando vou a uma reunião, so, Dr. Frutoso, just a second. Let's you see. need to, 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 to be very uh, sentence by sentence. So, Ruth can translate sentence by sentence. Okay? Okay. I will speak slowly. Hmm. Diana, I speak slowly. You will speak one sentence, stop. One sentence by sentence. Okay. Yeah, okay. Stop and wait for Ruth. Okay? Quando eu ingiro a carne de um animal abatido. Ok, when you eat a meat from uh, an animal who is dead, like a cow, a ave, pork, a, a chicken. Eu ingiro um, também, coloco em mim, eating also negativos do sofrimento from the do animal from those animals. ser abatido. E isso contamina o meu ectoplasma. And this contaminates your ectoplasm. Quando, uh, uh, stop. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. All right. So he was saying that every time an animal is uh, dead, uh, they kill the animal to be eat, uh, like a cow, um, a chicken, uh, a pork. Uh, you, uh, all this suffering from the death of the animal comes in your ectoplasm in form of negative energy. 
Ok, go ahead, please. Quando eu compareço a uma reunião de materializações de ectoplasmia... Stop. Ok. Uh, when you go to a meetings for... Um, for ectoplasmy uh, practice... Meu, o meu ectoplasma vai se misturar com o ectoplasma que sai do médium okay. e eu prejudicarei a reunião. Ok. Dificultarei... Stop, stop, please. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes, go ahead, Ruth. All right. So, when you go to a meeting with uh, other mediums, your ectoplasma is in a low energy and vibration, and this is going to mix with the ectoplasm from the other mediums, and this could interfere in a process. Go ahead, please. Eu dificultarei a materialização do espírito. Yes, Ruth. And then, and then it's going to be hard to materialize the spirit. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Não, tem, posso completar. Yeah, so, okay, go ahead. O, o peixe é o único alimento com carne permitido porque... O cardume tem um envoltório energético coletivo. Então, quando eu removo uma unidade desse conjunto, o sofrimento é muito menor. Além disso, a carne do peixe é rica em compostos fosforados. E esses compostos são utilizados na esterilização do ambiente, facilitando a atuação dos médicos espirituais materializados sobre os pacientes que são levados a essas reuniões. Não, eu sei em português. Doutor Paulo, é, quando o senhor falar, fale frase por isso, uma frase e espera. E olhe para mim, quando eu der o sinal, aí o senhor continua. Agora o senhor vai ter que repetir, porque a, a, a Ruth não consegue acompanhar. Com relação ao peixe? Ah, sim, é o que o senhor acabou de falar. O único, a única carne permitida. Ruth, please. So the only meat uh, allowed meat yeah. é a carne de peixe. Okay. Now it's green here for me. Uh, so the only meat that it's allowed to eat is the fish because the fish, uh, they, they stick together. And because of that, they share the energy. And so they're sharing the suffering. It's like, it's not the suffering just in one animal. They share. So when you split, is less suffering in that fish. Go ahead. Porque o cardume tem um envoltório espiritual yes, Ruth. comum. Or All right. So because all the fishes together, they have just one energy together. It's not a unit, but together. Quando removemos uma unidade do conjunto, Ruth? All right. And so when you remove one unit from the group, just one fish from the group of the fishes, o sofrimento é muito menor do que o que acontece com o boi, o corpo okay. so then e as it's, aves, it's... outros animais. 
Segundo, a carne do peixe é impregnada de compostos fosforados. Yes, Ruth. All right. So he's saying that the, 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 the meat of the All fish. Right. So it takes just a second because I need to wait for him to be green. So he was saying that because they, they share the energy, when you remove one fish from the group of the fishes, uh, this fish carries way less suffering if you compare with uh, a cow or a chicken or any other animal because uh, the fish carries a, uh, a, um, a group of phosphorate. Okay, and then he said some. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Que são utilizados no início da reunião Yeah, he's saying that uh, the the phosphorus element is uh, used during the meeting. Go ahead, Dr. Paulo. São utilizados no início da reunião para esterilização do ambiente. Yeah. So this phosphorate element is used in the beginning of the meetings to sterilize the, the place, the environment, to clean the environment. Facilitando a ação dos médicos espirituais materializados Ruth? All right, making easier. Hi, making easier for all the mediums to be able to perform uh, in a better way using this element of levados a essas reuniões. Supporting all this, this uh, meetings who is attending to the meetings. A principal razão para tais encontros é o atendimento de pacientes graves que a nossa medicina pouco pode ajudar. And the, the, the intention uh, of this meeting is to support people who are ill in a way that the, the medicine uh, cannot help them yet. Okay, so folks, we, we have five minutes to the next session. So uh, unfortunately, we'll have to, uh, well, oh, okay, so we have five four minutes, sorry. Yeah, o segundo motivo menos importante é demonstrar o que será a medicina mediúnica do futuro. The second reason uh, less important is to show what is going to be uh, the spiritual medicine in the future. Quando os médicos serão Poderosos médiums. When the doctors will be a powerful mediums. Hoje já somos, sem percebermos. Today we are already without knowing. Mas nenhum de nós está sozinho. But we are not alone. Porque enquanto cuidamos do corpo físico dos nossos pacientes. Because while we are taking care of uh, a patient's body, nossos colegas médicos espirituais 
cuidam do corpo espiritual do paciente. Our medium's friends are taking care of their patient's spirit as well. Okay, so we have one more question. Somebody has a website, yes, he does. Um, and that we can send that later. Uh, but it's going to be in Portuguese. So, but yeah, we can send that information. And the other question from Bruno is, Dr. Bruno, do you and the spiritual doctor treat all patients independent of the disease is curable or not? Are you not interfering with the patient karma? And if you cure, if you cure that disease, he would not learn what he had to learn. Thank you. Ruth, can you please translate the document? Yeah. Um, would you, okay, it was a noise together. Could you just repeat the question for me, please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, he was asking uh, do you and the spiritual doctor treat all patients independent or on, independent of the disease, if it's curable or not? Are you not interfering with the patient harm? Um, what I, um Agora em português, uh, o, o médico, assim, junto com o médico espiritual, é, trabalham separados ou trabalham juntos na, no processo de cura desse paciente? Está baixo. Ela, ela está perguntando se... A pergunta é... Uh, o, o, a medicina, o, o, o trabalho individual, os médicos espirituais é, tratam todos os, os pacientes, independente de ser curado ou não. É, você trata todos os pacientes, independente de ser curado ou não, ainda no, no karma do paciente? Todos são tratados pelos dois médicos, nós e pelos colegas do outro lado. Porque nós somos imortais. Então, sendo por eles tratados, após o fenômeno natural da morte, chegaremos no plano espiritual em melhores condições. All right. Um, they are both being treated at the same time because we are immortal. So, uh, after uh, we pass and we go to the spiritual plane, we keep getting treatments there too from the spiritual mediums. So, so Dr. Pratuoso, thank you so much. We have time to, to the next question. To the next question, we need to get here. But uh, we really thank you so much for your contribution. And thank you, folks, for connecting with us. Um, um, we will go to uh, uh, stop this right now, and uh, uh, we'll connect to the next session. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.